Mark's home is in Wokingham, 10 miles from Reading in Berkshire. The fair was back in Wokingham this weekend, on the same ground at Wellington Road, where it's been each May or June for 50 years. Mark's home, too, was in the centre of Wokingham. The fair was a five-minute bike ride away. It's 50 miles away on Friday, the 1st of June last year, at 7.20 in the morning. A lorry stops for a hitchhiker on the A30. Going to Wokingham? Yeah. <laughs> The driver, Shane Northway, picked up his passenger 20 miles east of Salisbury, just outside Stockbridge. He remembers the man well. He had a bit, there was a little bit of odour there, and you could see him been sleeping rough. He had, there was dirt all around the collar of his shirt. His Mac was really filthy on the inside, red lining. Where you going, mate? I'm making my way around the country looking for work. He was in the cab with me for about two and three quarter hours, and I eventually dropped him off just past the fairground in Wokenham. Yeah, you can drop me off here, mate, if you like. It, you? Well, I'll just pull down the road out the way of the traffic. All right. When the man got out, he headed back up Wellington Road towards the fairground. It was a busy time on the main road, and someone must have seen him. Bye-bye, Mark. See you later. Mark's mother left home at 5.15 that evening to go to work. She hasn't seen Mark since. Bye. Mark left the house half an hour later, telling his father he was going to the fair. He was a quiet, shy boy, often to be seen on his bike in the town centre. The tiger jacket he wore that day was eye-catching and distinctive. Eyewitness accounts confirm that Mark was at the fair by 6.30 that evening. Two witnesses recall that a man appeared to be watching Mark. Police are also certain that an hour and a quarter later, Mark was still at the fair, now on the Dodgems. It's possible that the man who was with him was the same man who earlier had been watching him. He was about six feet tall, with scruffy hair, very similar to the man dropped off earlier in the day by the lorry driver. Except this man had glasses. About 8 p.m., Mark leaves the fairground with the same man. Though he left his bike behind, Mark appears to have left the fair quite willingly. Correct for two points. Challenge or tell me yourself. It was this man, David Hine, who may have been the last person to see Mark Tildesley that Friday evening. If it was Mark, he was in Langborough Road, apparently with the same man he'd been with at the fair. Mark has never been seen again. His mother still refuses to believe the worst. I still say someone's got him and he's le they're living in rough or something because it's a mother's instinct. I know he's all right. <laughs> 